Okay, welcome back. Um, we've done a little bit of jolly cooperation, and you can see we've collected a bunch of souls. Uh, so now we can update our boy and get him ready for the kind of main game. So the first thing we're going to do is see if we can update any of our equipment. Have a little look there. Uh, what? No Esther shards. And we need six large Titanite shards to do anything with that. So... Okay, be careful. Nothing there. Alright. So let's... Welcome. Level up. Now, the way you level up is keep in mind what you need to do and what you want to do. So we want strength and dexterity. Now, eventually we're going to be having a look at getting ourselves um, the wolf sword. And... The wolf sword, uh, or the sword of, um, you know, the sword of Artorius, is the wolf knight's great sword. You require 24 strength and 16 dex to use. So we're going to take that up to 24, 24, uh, because we're going for what's called uh, a quality build, which is where strength and dexterity go up at the same time. Now we're going to need a lot of endurance and. A lot of vitality. So if we do that, maybe, uh, and have a little look. Now we need 1010 to use. Actually, we don't need to worry too much about that because we won't be using that. So if we have a little look what we've done here, um, we've taken our endurance way up. That's going to give us lots of swings. Uh, we've taken our strength and dex up, and our vitality up, so we can lift something heavier. We haven't taken our vitality up enough I think let's take it up to 25 now you can see that our resistances have gone massively up and our physical defense has gone massively up oh hang on now we needed 26 strength didn't we no 24 strength that's okay oh, well, and if we have a look where we're at we've got 22849 we need 28 so we need about 6,000 souls Let's and if you go to sell the ah, souls, ah. I'm going to give her the Dream Chasers ashes that Fashion we've picked up. This barren dust stuff of a fool won't yield aught. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Ah, lovely bit of. Oh yes, I see. Rhyme. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world. Where's the pity? Pity and see. Lovely rhyming going on. One most, wouldst thou not? <laughs> Indeed, and agree. Yes, it's come from me, most foolish. So, what we're going to do before we buy anything from her Ashen is show you something. Once you give her the Dream Chasers ashes, we're going to go away and come back. When we go away, do we need to go away? Let's have a look and see. Yeah, we do need to go away. Let's just pop back to the Cleansing Chapel and pop back again to um, back to the Firelink Shrine and what we're going to find when we do that is that there's a friend, a new person for us to talk to and she will become important. Um, it's interesting that uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the extra uh, NPCs you're going to meet are women if you are a male character. So in our case um, we've got a female Anri, but if you have a female character, Anri will be male. I'm not sure what happens to Sirius. I don't play female characters, so I don't. I don't know. It might be worth running one through um, just to see what happens with all the NPCs. But um, when we come back, we see her there. We go and say hello. We can see her there. Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. For one, that you are most gentle of heart. That's right. I, too, am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Well, thank you very much. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. We'll say thanks very much, Cirrus, and we'll take Dark Moon loyalty. If you should acquire a blessing of the moon. All right. And well, while we're here, we'll go and say hi. Say hi to Henri. 
We spoke before on the road of sacrifices. Andri of Astora. There we are. I'm well pleased to see you safe. Lovely sword as well. We reached the Cathedral of the Deep, but Aldrich's coffin was empty. Now Aldrich's coffin was that great big the tall must thing. Have left for his true home. The little doll in the empty coffin told me. Aldrich is said to hail from Irithyll in the Boreal Valley, an ancient fabled city. That's our next port of call. A pilgrim told me that the city lies beyond Farren Keep. Okay, so we have to head to Farren Keep. And so becomes our destination. And follow Anri on her quest. Aldrich's honest home, a pilgrim. And so, so we're going to follow her around. We'll say oh. hi to Horace. Yeah. And he just sort of gives us the heavy breathing. Mm, thanks, Horace. Thanks, mate. Good on you. <laughs> Come say hi to our pirate. Now invade and plan if you grow weird. Come on. <laughs> so, there are several quests that are now active. We've activated a few quests. We'll come and say hi to Grouchy. He's another one of them. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Um, we're going to gain admission to a Legion. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars okay. opens the door to the wolf blood. The wolf blood, we want that. Even a cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. Yeah, we are pretty special, I though. Have a look. Pity the sorry souls. <laughs> Gaining admission. Either. Okay, he's had a giggle. Thanks. Thanks for your laugh. <laughs> okay, and we have a look down there. He's still dead. She's still there. Um, now. As I was saying before, when we want to sell some souls, we first of all we need two eight three five one. If we come over here, uh -huh. now that we've given her the Dream Chasers Ashes, she sells Titanite shards, so you can actually finally buy these things. You don't have to kind of keep, you know, uh, keep grabbing them. So she sells Titanite shards. Um, she's also going to sell some of the funky armor that we saw, including Sage's big hat. If you're looking for um, a, mage, a mage build, that's a nice hat to get. Uh, some of this stuff, exile armor, but that's a little bit large for us, and we're not an exile just yet. Um, so at the moment, we, 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 we're going to stick with. Now, if we sell, you can see what you get for it. So we want about 6,000. 28,849. That should get us there. Let's have a look. Welcome. Lovely. So we can bung a bit more strength in there. Um, and lift that up or we can lift up our endurance let's lift up our endurance uh, yeah, yeah why not lift up our endurance okay Farewell, Ashen one. so now we're going to get one two three four five swings or four swings plus 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 and if we have a little look and just I want to just check and see if I've picked up a particular frock I have not so if we go back to the area where we at the Cathedral of the Deep where we finished off all of the the Deacons of the Deep once you've and you have to actually re-enter the area so you have to kill the boss which we've done that was where we sort of fought all those little bosses around the place leave and then go back which of course you know you're not likely to want to do um, but if you do then hopefully uh, we haven't already grabbed it but hopefully there will be a little present lying on the pile of bodies for us and you can see over there a little shiny we come over here to where he's lying down we pillage the remains and we grab the archdeacon clobber so if you particularly wanted to you could run about the place as an archdeacon if that's something you're into. Uh, if you're running a cleric build, perhaps, or if you are just particularly religiously uh, inclined, it might be something you could think about. Um, we, however, are made of sterner stuff. Uh, we're going to be going for Macbeth. And if we have a look there, we've got our night leggings. Right, we're pretty much knighted up. And if we have a look at the outfit, we could possibly wear that 
but I've had a long conversation with myself about this and I think that that is looking a little bit more realistic um, and we will however grab the night gauntlets okay so you can see now that because we have that extra vitality we can carry a lot more stuff now we did pick up of course the armor of thorns um, and we can have a look at some of these armors that's the that's the outfit for long finger kirk circle jerk um, you can wear that if you want we can see our trusty longbow now we've got a longbow sitting on uh, which is nice which is a nice little piece of equipment we are going to upgrade that and we're going to go for something different um, we're going to go and pick up the, the bow of Ferris because we're going to head now into Farron Keep so remember we went through Farron Keep we've had a little look through it we'll go to the Keep Ruins um, and from the Keep Ruins we go through that area to take us up to the next section next section of the game where we're going to pick up our Wolf Knight Greatsword and push on now the Farron Keep area the area we're going to now is Poison City um, you want to if you can and if you're not doing some sort of funky build like us or some sort of cosplay thing you probably just want to drench yourself in lots and lots and lots of really good anti-poison stuff but if we have a look down here we can see um, that there are three little sconces and some doors now one of them's lit because we've lit one of the fires we've lit the fire to get to there this area is nasty so we are going to swing around to the right and have a little look now if we have a little look in here you can see you've got lots and lots and lots of these guys slugs nasty slugs poisoning us everywhere uh, and lots and lots and lots of little shinies around the place so we're going to run along here and grab our shinies we've been up that ladder that takes us up to the Farron Keep that's where we picked up our Havel Ring which we really don't need to be wearing anymore um, however let's take the let's take the Havel Ring off put on hmm what's a good ring to put on poison bite ring and we're going to reduce our armor a little bit because we are now heavy so let's put on some macbethy pants uh, mm, 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 mm. oh we'll put that on for the moment because that's going to protect us a little bit against poison we're going to get invaded so we'll put on warrior way of the blue so that we know um, when we get invaded we'll get a little help all right now while we're in this area here it's basically a bit of a bun fight whenever you walk in this stuff you are getting poisoned so go through it as quickly as you can come out the other side some tight night shards to grab um, those things there quite sizable we will try and deal with one but first of all we'll go over here pick up our shiny and we come up the side now you're probably gonna die here I, I expect to die here a few times that is an Esther soup which is lovely um, that's a sunlight talisman we don't really want that yet later on once we've got ourselves up to 40 40 we will think about grabbing Wolf's Blood Sword Grass. If for those who are looking to enter the Covenant of the Wolf. And these boys, you can hit them with a bow and arrow and summon them across. They will dutifully come running. Now, we could drop down there if we wanted to. And frankly, I would rather let them just annoyingly come up here. That way I don't have to get poisoned. Come on, fellas. That's it. Alrighty. Now they scream a lot. And they make a lot of noise. Which is fair enough. But what we want to do is get as many of them as we can from up here. Because... You're going to be looking to move really quickly when you're in that muck. Now, 
Now, how did you even do that? All right, so we are one-shotting those boys, which is great. Let's pull one of these things. Now, this will be more problematic because he's really big. We are going to hit pretty hard, but so is he. So expect... Oh, they also have dark magic that comes out of their kind of bum. There he is. Is he going to come and have a go? Come and have a go! What are you doing? Stop being such a giant. Look how slowly my arrow flies. This is a... I, I, you know, I worry that they think something that's that tall is moving as fast as the arrow leaving my bow. Do you know? You know, because it just isn't. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Really? He's moving so fast that my arrow can barely keep up with his. Like, and should he run, he'll be faster than an arrow. Finally! Alright, now we can start hitting him. Ah! Thoroughly annoying Millie. Okay, so once you sort of have conv have managed to sort of avoid the, you know, dark red blobs of pain and all the other stuff, you should be able to take him out of the picture. Alright, we'll just leave that there now that we're in Farron Keep.